Hey guys, so this is opening 005. Uh, this is actually an opening that is not included in uh, most softwares or applications officially, but um, it is a well-known line, at least among Japanese, and as far as I know, it's not really been named, but uh, one of the famous players that I've seen play this at the World Championship is none other than Mr. Fukuchi Kesuke uh, of Japan, and he is actually the world champion of the 2018 World Otello Championships, and he definitely broke the record by far uh, in terms of the youngest uh, champion being crowned. So I think he won it when he was at the age of 11 years old, which actually shocked the world. So Let's go into the sequence. So it is the usual sequence to the Tiger Rose Bill opening. But once you've reached this stage, um, the move that he plays is actually D2. So D2 essentially gives Black quite a few options, but the follow-up is usually quite um, challenging in some sense for Black. But of course, for White, uh, counterintuitive moves also follow. So the typical response that you would probably expect black to follow up would actually be to jump in into the center. So usually when we simulate openings or whether you know that opening may work or not, you would probably want to consider where your opponent might play. So e3 um, and e6 are pretty often uh, found uh, in, an, in a response by black. And of course probably c6 would be uh, something that is less probable usually. So let's say if black would jump into e3, uh, usually you probably wouldn't want to make a move this loud being the best and flipping this in all three directions. So you might consider this. And then of course this seems like a loud move that doesn't seem that nice for black. I mean for white. So if white were to play b5 and try to target e2, black could easily just jump in and regroup either to e2 or e6. So that would actually be a little counterintuitive. Um, so most of the moves that are good for white are actually counterintuitive. So you really have to go deep in the book to actually understand this opening and to make use of it. So um, to some extent, I definitely uh, encourage uh, probably expert players and above to actually adopt this opening, which I actually see uh, many online Japanese players actually start to use this line pretty often and it can actually prove to be fairly effective against uh, players who frequently play Black Tiger and always expect the same uh, common variations to maybe Central Rose Bill or Taminori or maybe just the normal Rose Bill uh, variation. So yeah, you can probably look into this, um, but yeah, you probably find it a little bit challenging to actually master. So, yep, on that note, I'll end this video and thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you at the next episode.